Yes, guys, welcome to week four of Hip Mobility. If you missed any of the first three weeks, please jump onto my YouTube channel and check out weeks one to three as there are some different exercises. And the idea is it progresses over the series uh, to get to week four. But if you're joining me for the first time today, welcome to Hip Mobility. The idea is to leave our hips feeling more mobile, gonna le uh, leave us uh, less injury prone and risk of injury, and just feeling better to move around and be more free, guys. That's the idea of our session today. We're gonna find a lot of movements working through the joints. So if it's your first time working on mobility, you might hear a little bit of clicking, and that's absolutely fine, guys. It's completely normal. I'm just gonna take you through the seated position we're gonna find ourselves in, in terms of starting, guys. So, for those who are doing it for the first time, we spend a lot of time in a 90-90 CT position. From side on, it looks like this. From the front on, you'll find yourself sitting here, guys. Throughout the session today, if you find it a little bit challenging to do some of the exercises, if you lean to the side, you give yourself more space to work with and it gets a little bit easier. Hands behind you as well, gives you more support and allows you to move through a little bit more freely. If you want to progress any of the exercises, just bring yourself more into the center of your body. So from leaning into the center and then hands off the floor, guys, makes it more challenging. If you're doing that, clench your hands if you can, create tension through the core, through the body, and really allow you to work through your full range of movement, guys. One final thing for today, with all my mobility sessions, the more you put in, the more you get out. So really try and work through that full range of movement and you're gonna get great benefit and it's gonna leave you having some great long-term effects, guys. So. We are going to start, I'm going to show you from side on, in the 90-90 CT position. We're going to go to an external rotated position. So in these 90-90 uh, single leg external rotations, I want your knee fairly close to the heel. If you go too far back, you're really going to struggle to lift it off. So from here, hand on your knee, this hand just supporting you on the ground. From there, I want you to lift your knee up off the ground to this position. Okay, I say this position as far as you can go. If you only go to there, that's fine. So come up with me now, just follow me through to here and back down. I'm gonna do five reps, guys. So that's one rep, come up, pause, and back down. I'm just gonna try and work into the hip, into external rotation, and three, just two more, just getting nice and primed, guys. There, one more time, coming up, there, and from there, lift it up, rotate over, guys, and we go to the other side. So get yourself ready in three, two, one, up, and down. So those who have joined me, before, uh, joined me before will know that we always do a bit of general preparation. Just get that body primed before we go into the more advanced movements, guys. That's all we're doing right now. Drive up. One more time. Coming up, pausing. And then from there, up, over, back to the first leg, guys. Now, progression. If you can, hands out in front, same exercise. You're gonna come up, probably won't go quite as far, and then back down if it's too hard. Keep yourself back in that same position you just did. So three, two, five reps, one, coming up. Keep this leg down and back down. This knee is gonna stay on the ground, guys. Coming up and back, good. Let's go, drive up. Two more, drive up. One more time, guys. Coming up, down, up, over to here. Five reps in three. Two, one, come up, and down, let's go. And down, good guys. Nice, drive up, one more time. There, down, over, recover. All right team, so that's uh, your external rotation. We spend a lot of time in a flex position of the hip and we do some movement for extension. So flexion and extension are two main movements. That was external rotation. We're now gonna work into internal rotation, and we're gonna do this by lying down. So I want you to lie on your fronts. We did this last week. From there, you're gonna bring your knee up, okay? I want it to go as far as it can. If you, you, know, if you only go to that, it's fine, but if you go too far back, you'll get a massive range of movement, and it will feel pretty easy. The further up you go, the less high you can bring it, and that's ideal, because we really start working into our hip as much as we can do. So into this position, just demonstration first. You're gonna lift off as high as you can, heel off the ground for five seconds, you're then gonna to touch down. We do five reps, look towards the floor, push into the floor, guys, create tension through your body, five uh, second holds, five repetitions, okay? Just one time through per side. So get yourself ready, put all the work in, guys. We go three, two, 
So I drive up, as high as it can be, for three, two, one, recover. And again, drive up, there, three, two, one, back down. Nice, guys. Let's go, drive up, there, three, two, one, back down, two more. Drive up, three, two, one. One more time, guys. Drive up, three, two, one, recover. Very nice. All right, we're gonna change sides. I'm gonna come slightly towards the camera for that range of movement. So then bring your other knee as far as it can around. Down towards the ground. We ready, you can lift up in three, two, one. Drive up, three, two, one, and rest. And again, guys, drive up. Three, two, one, and down. Three more, guys. Lift up. Three, two, one. Two more, team. Drive up. Three, two, one. One more time, guys. Drive up. Three, two, one, and recover. All right, guys. We go into our final exercise of your general preparation phase. On this one, it's a progression from what we just did. It is challenging. So, we're back in this position. From there, the idea I'm gonna demonstrate is to lift the knee and the ankle off the floor together. Much harder, and often you find your ankle coming higher than the knee. If this is too hard, just go with what we just did, guys. I'm gonna demonstrate one repetition. So you're gonna be here, drive up, and back down, okay? On this one, I'm gonna uh, let us do two second holds, because it is much more challenging. So we do two seconds, five times through. Okay, guys, so up for two, as high as you can, and then down again. So it's gonna be shut one more time. Drive up, and back down. So much more hard, uh, it's much more challenging in terms of movement, guys, but really try and give it a go if you can. If you can't do it, then go back into your heel lift off, okay? So get yourself ready, one set through, one time. In three, in two, in one, drive up. Two, one, and down. And again, drive up, two, one, nice. Drive up, two, one, drive up, two, one. One more time, drive up, two, one. And rest here, very good. Oh, nice challenging, guys. You can hear me really trying hard on that one as well. So get yourself other side, coming up, one time through, lifting up, five rep uh, repetitions, Two seconds, we're going three, two, push into the floor, one, drive up, two, one, down, and up, two, one, drive up, two, one, two more, drive up, two, one, one more time, drive up, two, one, Woo. yes guys, very nice, that is a very challenging one, so if you find that final one, too hard, you couldn't do it, it's okay. Uh, I really struggled with that one myself, so you know, you're not the only one struggling with that movement, guys. Very uh, challenging. It's something you can work towards over time, and if you can, you know, if you can now can't get it off the floor, the knee won't move, and in six months' time, you can get the knee off the ground. Look at that, that's incredible. That's, that's the progress you've made, and you'll feel great about it when you can do that. But it's good to know your levels. If you can't do it, not an issue. You now know where you can work towards. We're gonna take ourselves into the main uh, section guys so it's in a seated 90 90 position exercise one we do it one time through most of these exercises we do one time and then we uh, move you on guys so exercise one is going to be a 90 90 sweep into a glute stretch to demonstrate you can have your hands behind the progression of one arm out in front it's going to come up around doesn't have to touch the floor it comes back and then you're going to go forward into the stretch you come back up you lift you go around back and into the stretch, guys, okay? Try and break it down slightly so you get that movement and really get a deep stretch. If you need to have your hands behind you, you can, but when you go into the stretch, you're gonna need to take it off to come forward, okay, guys? Get yourself ready, six repetitions, one time, both sides, we're gonna go in three, in two, in one, come up, around, back, forward, come down, be pulled by your chin, come back up, guys, Lift up, around, back, and down. Nice, come back up, up, sweep around, come back, and down. Excellent. 
rise back up. Three more, lift, sweep, back and down. Coming up, two more guys, lift, sweep, back and down. One more time team, lift up, around, back and down. Excellent. And resting, change size guys. Just a quick demonstration. On your glute stretch, just remember to be pulled with your chin. If you're going forward, try not to collapse through. We're gonna really lengthen it into that stretch, guys. All right, into your 90, 90 seated. Sweep and stretch, six reps, three, two, one, lift up. Sweep around, back and down. Stretch, rise up, lift. There, good guys, around. And down, back in position, lift, yes, around, good team, come back up, we're going to do three more, lift up, around, there, keep working hard, you've got two more, lift up, around, back, and down, one more time guys, lift, around, there and down and recovery. Bring yourself back to your first side, guys. Very nice. We're gonna take ourselves on to putting my favorite exercise. I do like this one. You can do it with your hands behind and one arm out in, in the middle. That's gonna be the progression. So sort of the most basic version, but it's fine if you do this one. Intermediate and then the final one, sort of the advanced option for you guys. So the demonstration, up, just over, back, and around, hands out in front, lift up, over, try and take your knee up like I did, back and around. So that makes it easy when you do that. So you really want to try and make sure your knee stays on the ground, like so. Much more challenging. So get yourself ready, guys. One time through six repetitions. I call this a 90-90 sort of partial sweep with the knee bent. Great exercise to add in, really explores that full range of movement, guys, through the hips. So get yourself ready, six repetitions in three, two, one, lift up. Come over, back, recover. Clenching the fist, just up, over, yes, back, recover. Good guys, let's go. Up, over, back, recover. Three more. Up, over, yes, come on. Two more guys, do more. Up, back, and down, one more time. Over, back, oh, nice guys. This one, likely to hear a little bit of clicking. Absolutely fine. Okay, happens with me all the time on these ones. So if you explore that full range of movement, especially also on hips, even the shoulders, often you hear clicking sensations, guys. You're working for a joint. This is a ball and socket joint, so you are gonna get that rotation. Quite likely you're gonna hear a little bit of clicking. It shows you're working in that full range of movement, which is fantastic. One set, other side in three. Two, are we ready? One, lift, over, back, and around, guys, good. You might also find one side is a little bit easier than the other. That's also something that can be expected, normal, and don't worry too much. The more you do, the better you'll find both sides becoming an equal in terms of their mobility. Over, keep going, I'll push my knee down. One more time, cheating slightly up. Over, back, and recover. Very nice, guys. Woo. All right, we're gonna take ourselves into a 90-90 play. This is gonna be eight repetitions and one time through. On a 90-90 play, we start with the sweep like you did before, okay? But instead of coming back, what we do is take this leg out from underneath. This leg then goes back to a bent position, lean slightly, lift up, around, and finish. You can have your hands behind you, Makes it much more accessible. Hands out in front, clench. Once again, much more challenging, guys. So get yourself ready. I have done this before. So hopefully most of you will know this exercise. Do a little one. And people will find this a little bit confusing to start with. When they get the drift of it, if you're mirroring me completely, it is enjoyable to do, guys. So get yourself ready. In three, two, one. You lift up, you kick out, and you sweep round. Touch down, other leg. Out, in, bend, up. And around, guys, nice, that's one rep, let's go. Up, around, out, 
down, up, and finish. Good. Lift, sweep. Yes, come on. There. And that's free. We're flying through, guys. Up and around. Let's keep working. There. Yes, team. Four reps, halfway. Come on. Doing so well. Down. There. That's five. Three more. Keep going, team. Down, up, there. Last two. You got this. Down, down, up. One more time, guys. Up and around. Out, extend, back, there, and recover. Woo! Very nice. All right, we're going to take ourselves from the 90 90 position into an extended leg position. So, on this one, did this before, it's a 90, sorry, it's not 90 90, it is a hip flexor end range lift off exercise. So, on this one, I mentioned before how our hip flexors, where we sort of find ourselves in a very flexed position, can become tight over time. Not only are they very tight, they can also be weak, and weakness can just be a why you feel tight. So, the stronger we make them, you know, the better you're going to feel as well. So, in this exercise, I want you to hug one knee, one knee, so you bring the heel as close as possible, arms around or holding on, okay, from there, you're going to lift this leg as high as it can, touch once, bring it back, and finish it. The key is to make sure you sit into the exercise, be nice and tall, try not to, to sort of bend the back, sit nice and tall. So to do that, you need to engage your core, so engage the core, guys. Six repetitions, just follow me, the key is not to go as far out as possible, but to make sure you get maximal height on these ones, guys. Get yourself ready, sit tall, in three, in two, six reps, one, up, touch, up, back. Let's go again. Two, good, let's go. There, pretty good, three more. Come on, two more. Sit tall, one more time. Out, and extend, change, bring it in, hug, let's go straight into it guys. Sit tall, up, touch, and back, come on. Doing well, and again, there. Keep going guys, three more. Up we go, two more, sit tall. Working well, guys. One more time. There, back, and recover. Very nice. All right, team, we're gonna progress that slightly now. So what I want you to do is do a double tap. Okay, so on this one, six reps again. I'm just gonna demonstrate for you. You're in the same position. You're gonna go one, two, one, two, and that's one rep. We're gonna do six of those, guys. So get yourself ready. Let's go straight into this in three, in two, sit tall, in one, high as you can, out, there, back, good, and again, keep going, let's go, up, back, excellent, keep working hard guys, one, two, come on, it's three reps, three more, go, one, two, nice work, Two more guys, you got this. Lift, tap, up, back, and again, let's go. Up, let's go one more time together, let's go for this, one more time, let's go. Up, there, up, and recover. Very nice quality guys. One final time, get yourself ready. Let's hold ourselves nice and tall, knee in, engage the core in three, two, one. Tap once, tap twice. You might find the second tap the hardest. That's to be expected, guys. That one's okay. That gets challenging. You come in. Okay, let's go. Up. Yes, come on. There. Let's go three more. Strong. One, two, and again. One. Two, two more guys, let's find them. One, two, one, 
Two. One more time. Sit tall. Engage the core. Strong. Up. And recover. Very good. Very good indeed. We have got ourselves one more exercise, guys, and then we are going to stretch out. We've done so well so far. So just give me everything you have for the final exercise. Two rounds on this one, okay? We've got two repetitions, or two, two repetitions, you wish. Two sets, eight repetitions. That's all we have. 90 90 hip rotations. You can have the hands behind, hands out in front. Once again, that is a progression. On this one, like before at the start, you bring it up when you can't go any further. This knee is going to lift and you're going to rotate and you're going to finish. That's one rep. You do the same thing over and finish, guys. Hands behind makes it much easier and you often you get more height. It doesn't make it better, but it means it's more accessible to those who can't put their hands out in front. So, eight repetitions, guys, to get yourself in position. Sit tall, engage the core, clenched hands if you're doing so. Three, two, one, up, then over, touch down as high as you can. This stays down, then you rotate. That's two, let's go. Up, and over. Three, good. Then, four, four more guys. And over. Three more, drive up. Over we go. Two more, team. Up. One more time, guys. There. Over. And rest. Very good. Great exercise, guys. It's one of those ones which I like to do towards the end, or at least after a few exercises, because you get more, a bit more mobile, and you're warmer through those hips. So it's always good to start with the external rotation. It's very much a progression movement as well. Hopefully, over time, you find yourself getting higher before this knee has to lift. When you first start, you might find this position and then you have to go because your hips are quite tight. And then eventually it goes higher and higher and higher. And even for me, if I lean back, I can go into that position. My hands off the ground, I can't. So hopefully the progression for me is to get myself into that position with the hands away in front, guys. So one more round, then we stretch through. Get yourself ready. Eight reps, three, two, in a one, lift. Working and then rotating. Good. One through. Let's go. And across. Nice, guys. Up we go. Yes, come on. Doing so well. Up and through. Nice, team. So good. All right, let's do this. I'm going to make it work a little bit harder. Okay, this is going to be seven. I want you to give you three more. Drive up. There. Eight. Two more. Let's go. Extra reps. Over. One more time. Let's get them, guys. Up, over, and finish. So good, team. So good. Amazing. I'm going to give you a nice couple of stretches to finish off for today. We're going to do a 30 to 60 seconds hold in both um, in each stretch. Okay, on both sides, as you would imagine. On the first one, it's 90-90 stretch, guys. So you're going to find this 90-90 CT position. As I said before, when you go into this one, think about being pulled forwards, trying to keep your back as straight as possible rather than collapsing early. The key on that one is there to think of a string putting your chin over your front knee. If you can't do it here, go to the side, guys. More accessible to some people. That might feel too tight. So wherever you need to be. So we do a 60 second roughly hold. So get yourself being pulled forward, forward with the chin. Once you're there, you can just take your arms down and collapse into the stretch. Sort of feel nice. It should be relaxing, guys, okay? Just gonna hold yourself through here. In these stretches, okay, you want to spend a bit of time. 30 seconds to 60 seconds is a great amount of time to progress your uh, flexibility, guys. And also in this stretch, when you're here, deep breathing. As you breathe out, deep breaths. You can really sink further into that stretch as well, guys. Nice. If you need to push into your knee to try and force a bit more tension, absolutely fine. So flexibility, mobility really should go together, guys. Think of flexibility as passive um, sort of range of movement. So you're really pushing into these ranges, guys. So you can get yourself deeper into positions by forcing yourself into those positions. Mobility is active range of movement. So actually, we have to work into those positions. Okay, so they do complement each other very nicely. Through stretching, you can become more flexible. And then with that new range of flexibility, you can use the mobility, okay, the training with that, with the active work to actually increase the strength in these new positions. And that's the key, guys. 
coming down. 10 seconds, just hold it through. Well, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it up. Very nice, guys. You're going to change sides through here. Get yourself in position. Piece of string. Pause your chin forward into that deep stretch, and then your hands can go forward, guys. Just hold that position. Some people ask me how many times a week you stretch. Honestly, if you have a very tight muscle, let's say you uh, you sit down all day, your chest gets really tight, and you want to stretch out, I would recommend stretching almost every day. Absolutely fine. You can even stretch twice a day. I mean, there's no problems with doing that as well, guys. It can really relieve the tightness and help you in many ways, especially your posture, yeah, injury prevention, and sort of general sort of feeling of well-being as well. Just pushing into this. Doing well, guys. Nice. Let's go 15 seconds, last little bit on this one. Then we're gonna do one final stretch into our hips. Just working through guys. Last five, four, three, two, one. So that stretch is really gonna work on the outside, especially into your glute. The final stretch of the butterfly, I want you to bring your feet together and you're gonna bring your heels inwards. From there, you're gonna push your elbows into your, your knees effectively, open up the hips, and get a stretch down the inside of your legs, guys. Lovely stretch to finish off. Okay, we call this the adductor muscle. It can become tight, and it will give you a bit more sort of space to work with as well, so really good for your hip mobility as well, guys, doing these stretches. Just open up through the hips. Excellent, guys. Just pushing down. Once again, if you like the stretches, you enjoy doing stretches, I do have a stretch class every other week on a Wednesday evening, uh, live at seven o'clock, and I do have um, a stretch session on YouTube, uh, 30 minutes, that you can follow at your leisure, guys. So jump on that if you wanna do more stretching, and then you can just uh, sort of take yourself for a full body stretch with me uh, in the class, guys, as well. So it's pushing down. Last five, four, three, two and one amazing work guys once again if you enjoyed today's session just give it a like subscribe to my channel and i'll be putting up more content in the coming weeks some full body mobility classes as well to find so enjoy um i say enjoy doing your mobility work keep coming for more and i have got weeks one to three online as well if you want to grab on uh, those and give them a go but yeah one well, guys as always um thank you for coming to all four weeks if you have done and i'll see you very soon for more mobility on the full body hips or shoulders, anything like that. I will see you there, guys. Keep smashing it, keep working hard, and I will see you soon.